Another great baseball game for us coming from behind, you know, down 3 nothing, and you got to give Brooks uh, Crawford a lot of credit. I thought, he, I thought he had an outstanding start for us, was able to get deep into the ball game, handle some adversity there in the third and the fourth, and I mean, quite honestly, you know, they hit one ball really good off of him, hit the home run, uh, you know, but besides that, you know, they had the flare double down the right field line, and then, you know, Kier had a tough ball, you know, there off the wall that scored a couple there, but, you know, besides that, he threw the ball really well, and I was really proud of our ability to manufacture some runs. Uh, you know, we did a good job there in the six. You know, Jordan Green, 3-2 count, leadoff hitter, took his walk. Kier hit a double right after that. Logan, 3-2 count again, walk. Um, and then, uh, you know, Seth did a good job of hitting a ground ball to first base. Had runners on second and third with nobody out. Got a runner in, got a runner over. And I thought the had bat of the game, um, outside of, obviously, Wilkie's two-out double, uh, was Chris Williams at bat. What a competitive at bat. Just foul pitches off, foul pitches off, hit a ball to left field for a sack fly. That was a huge run for us uh, to tie the ball game. And then Kyle Wilkie, you know, uh, you got to give Seth credit. 0-2 count against one of the best relievers in our league in Supple. You know, hits a ball up the middle and hustles out a double. Puts himself in scoring position. And then we get two outs and Kyle Wilkie, who we bumped up to the sixth spot in the order because he does such a good job of putting together competitive at-bats with runners in scoring position. Uh, came up huge for us with the double. So the bullpen was great. Spires was outstanding. Riley was Riley. Um, you know, he was as good as it gets. And we found a way to win the series here um, in game two. And, you know, we just got to keep bringing that positive momentum uh, going into tomorrow and hope they'll play another good baseball game tomorrow. You guys needed a good start from Brooks, and you got exactly that. No, Brooks did the ball great. You know, again, I know he gave up the three runs there. Uh, in the middle part of the game, the third and the fourth inning, but I actually thought he was, I thought his, the location of his pitches and his stuff was excellent today. Um, I don't think we could have asked for a better start out of Brooks. Bullpen, second day in a row, didn't give me anything up. Got to be pleased with that. Well, we've been saying it all year long, the strength of our team we feel like is our bullpen. And, you know, you got guys like Carson Spires, you know, who could come in after we use Ryan Miller and Strider. You know, Carson's just a freaking tough kid. He's just a blue-collar, hard-nosed, tough kid that is going to come out here and compete as hard as anybody for us. And that's just what he does. You know, he uh, he's, a, he's a strike thrower that's going to compete. And Riley... Now, Riley was up to 96, so almost every fastball out of his hand was 96 today. So, you know, he's one of the best in the country when he can command that fastball with that type of velocity. So, uh, he was he was really good. You touched on it earlier, but you guys you know, get the runs we need today without the long ball. You had to be pleased to see that. Well, I was pleased to see us be able to manufacture some runs and be able to put together an inning, put together some good at-bats, you know, move a runner over, hit the sack fly when we needed a sack fly. You know, with runners in scoring position, those at-bats were big for us, and that's only going to help our hitters gain confidence as we move forward.